Okay, so this is the basic explanation of the rules and mechanics of ice cream. These are the basic player pieces. These are the ice cream scoop tokens and there's just the generic D20 and here is the game board. Uh, for this demonstration, I'll be the only person playing today, and, but for setup, you'll take each player would select an ice cream piece and place it on a starting space, which are colored, and I'm going to play the green one. And the goal of the game is to have the most ice cream tokens um, collected after each player goes through 10 turns. So, and at the, start of, at the start of my turn, I can move up to five spaces. So I can go one, two, three, four, five. And now I've made it back to the ice cream scoop. So now at the beginning of my next turn, as I've chosen to end my turn now, I'll be able to collect one ice cream t scoop token. So I'm going to end my turn now, and no one else is playing, so it is now my turn. However, when I collect at least one ice cream scoop token, then my movement gets slower, because if I have between one and five tokens collected, I can only move three spaces, and if I have over five collected, then I move two spaces. Additionally, I can also choose to not move my turn and end my turn again in the ice cream scoop to collect more pieces, which I will now choose to do. So I'm gonna end my turn, no one else is playing, so it's my turn again. So I collect another ice cream to scoop token. And now I'm going to move. So I can move, I only have two scoop tokens collected, so I can move up to three spaces. And I, one, two, three. And then since I have ice cream scoops, I need to roll this d20 to see if my ice cream would fall over, which is a simple of base five plus how many ice cream scoops you have. So I have to roll a seven or better to keep my ice cream. So having two scoops isn't that bad. I rolled a 10, so I get to keep my ice cream scoops, and then I could end my turn. So now it's, again, my turn since I'm the only one playing. So I'm going to go one, two, and then I take my ice cream scoop tokens and place them at a separate location. So now I have two points, and it is now the end of my, my turn. It's my turn again. Again, I'm the only one playing. So I'm going to move one, two, three, four, five, and end my turn. Beginning of my next turn, collect one ice cream scoop token. I'm going to choose to end my turn here again. And then beginning of my next turn, connect another ice cream scoop token. In the beginning of my next turn, collect another one. And that would have been Evan turns. I only have three more left to get the most points. So I'm going to choose to move. So I have three ice cream scoops, which is, now I mean three spaces. So I move one, two, three three and now I have to roll an eight or higher to make sure my ice cream doesn't fall over. That's a natural 20 but for the sake of the demonstration let's just say I rolled a two. So I lose all my ice cream scoop tokens they go back to just the general communal pile and my turn just ends and I, I have to work to get all the way back there. So now it is my turn again because no one else is playing so I go one two three at the ice cream scoop place I'm going to collect one and then I'm going to end another, and I'm going to collect another one on my guest turn. And this is my last turn, if my math is correct. So I'm going to move one, two, three, because I have two scoops. And then I'm going to roll to see if I fall over. And that's a nine, so I'm fine, because five plus two is seven over nine. Um, that is my last turn, and now I have two ice cream scoop tokens collected in my little area, and I win because no one else had any. And that is the basic gameplay of the game. Thank you.